At the end of this topic, you will be able to define fruit, discuss the formation of fruit, classify fruits into different types. A fruit is the ripened ovary of a flower. It is formed as a result of fertilization. It is also the seed bearing structure of a plant. After fertilization, the ovary enlarges. The ovary wall becomes the fruit wall, pericarp, and the ovules become seeds. Other parts of the flower start to wither away and fall off. Thus, technically, the fruit is called as the ripened ovary of a plant. Parthenocarpic fruits are seedless fruits without the act of fertilization. Examples, seedless grapes, guava and mango. Fruits are classified as simple aggregate and multiple fruits. Simple fruits are classified into simple fleshy fruits and simple dry fruits. Simple fleshy fruits are again classified into bacchate and drupaceous. Bacchate is further classified as berry, hesperidium, pom and pepo. Dry fruits are classified as dry dehiscent, dry indehiscent and schizocarpic. There are two types of multiple fruits namely sorosis and psychonis. The pericarp is succulent and juicy when fully ripe. The pericarp is distinguished into three parts namely epicarp, mesocarp and endocarp. Bacchate and drupaceous are the two types of fleshy fruits. Bacchate is classified into berry, hesperidium, pom and pepo. It is one or many seeded fruit. Epicarp is thin and the mesocarp is fleshy. They form a pulp which is edible and the seeds are embedded in it. Example, tomato. It develops from multicarpillary superior ovary with axile placentation. The epicarp is thick with oil glands. The whitish spongy layer lining the epicarp is called mesocarp. The endocarp has distinct chambers. Juicy hairs produced from the endocarp are edible. Example, orange and lemon. The fruit develops from the pentacarpillary synecarpus inferior ovary with many seeds. The thalamus becomes fleshy and develops into a fruit which is edible. The true fruit containing seeds remain inside. Example, apple. It develops from a tricarpillary syncarpus inferior ovary with parietal placentation. The pulp contains many seeds. Example, cucumber. It is a one-seeded fleshy fruit and develops from monocarpillary syncarpus ovary. The pericarp is differentiated into outer skinny epicarp, fleshy middle mesocarp and stony inner endocarp. Because of the presence of stony endocarp, the fruit is also known as stone fruit. Dry dehiscent fruit Fruit dehis at maturity to liberate seeds. It includes legume, follicle and capsule. Develops from monocarpillary, unilocular, superior ovary with marginal placentation. Pericarp dehises along both dorsal and ventral sutures. Example, pea and bean. It is like a legume fruit but the pericarp dehises along one suture only. Splits along ventral suture alone. Example, calotropis. Composed of two or more carpels that splits and dehises to release the seeds at maturity. Classified into localized seedal capsule and septicedal capsule. Localized seedal capsule dehises along the locule that is midrib of each ovary. Example, cotton. Septicedal capsule dehises along the septa. Example, lady's finger. Dry indehiscent fruits. Fruits does not dehisce at maturity. Types of dry indehiscent fruits include akene, caryopsis, cypsella and nut. Click on the images for additional information of each type. This is a single seeded fruit that develops from monocarpillary unilocular ovary. Pericarp is hard and leathery and remains free from the seed coat. Example, clematis, mirabilis. This is a single seeded fruit which develops from monocarpillary unilocular ovary. Pericarp is hard and leathery and remains free from the seed coat. Fruit with persistent purpose like calyx develops from inferior bicarpillary syncarpus ovary. The pericarp and the seed coat remains free. Example, tridax. Is a dry indehiscent one seeded fruit with hard and woody pericarp. Nut is developed from superior bi or multicarpillary ovary. Example, groundnut. Schizocarpic fruits are both dehiscent and indehiscent. At maturity splits into many one-seeded bits called mericarp. They are classified into lomentum, cremocarp and regma. It resembles a legume and breaks transversely at constrictions between the seeds. Example, acacia. 
It is a two-seeded fruit which develops from bicarpellary synocarpus bilocular and inferior ovary. It dehisces longitudinally. It dehisces longitudinally into two indehiscent mericarps. Example: coriandrum. It develops from tricarpellary synocarpus superior ovary and breaks up into three one-seeded cocci. Example: castor. Aggregate means collection of small fruits called fruitlets. Aggregate fruit develops from apocarpous ovaries of a single flower. After fertilization, each carpel develops into a fruitlet, and hence there will be as many fruitlets as there were carpels in the flower. Aggregate fruits has a cluster of fruitlets attached to common stock. Example: Polyethia. In Anonoscomosa, margins of carpels are united and appear as a single fruit. Multiple or composite fruit develops from the entire inflorescence cluster of fruits forms the entire fruit at ripening all the flowers in the inflorescence fuse to forms multiple fruit cyconis and sorosis are the two types of multiple fruit cyconis develops from hypanthodium inflorescence the pear shaped receptacle becomes fleshy when ripe and bears achenes in inner surface example fig people and banyan sorosis develops from spadix or spike inflorescence in which flowers usually fuse by the succulent sepals and axis bearing them becomes woody and fleshy at maturity ovaries perianth leaves and peduncle becomes fleshy and forms a composite fruit example jackfruit develops from spadix inflorescence in this topic you have learned A fruit is the seed bearing part of the plant that is formed after fertilization. Fruits are classified into simple, aggregate and multiple fruits. Based on the mode of dehiscence, simple dry fruits are classified as dry dehiscent, dry indehiscent and schizocarpic fruits. Dry dehiscent fruits split open at maturity to liberate the seeds. Dry indehiscent fruits do not split open at maturity and the seeds are liberated by the decay of pericarp. Schizocarpic fruits show characters of dehiscent and indehiscent fruits. Aggregate fruit has a cluster of fruitlets attached to a common stock. Sorosis and cyconis are the two types of multiple fruits. At the end of this topic you will be able to compare monocotyledon and dicotyledon, label the structure of monocotyledon and dicotyledon seeds. Identify different types of seeds dispersal. Distinguish seeds based on their mode of transport. The fertilized ovule is called a seed. It is covered by the seed coat and consists of the embryo and the reserved food materials. The seed germinates and gives rise to a new seedling under favorable conditions. Seeds vary in size, shape, color, and surface. Based on the number of cotyledons in the embryo. Seeds of angiosperms are classified into monocots and dicots. The bean seed is kidney-shaped, bulky, and slightly depressed on one side with the embryo protected by the seed coat. On the depressed side of the seed coat, there is a short longitudinal whitish ridge called the raphe. At one end of the raphe, there is a minute opening known as germ pore or micropyle through which water enters. The embryo consists of cotyledons attached to its primary axis which has root portion called the radical and the stem portion known as plumule. The tip of the radical projects outside and is closer to the micropyle. The plumule is placed between the two cotyledons and consists of a shoot axis with a small bud that gives rise to two tiny folded leaves. Monocots like paddy have only one cotyledon inside the seed coat. The seed coat is very thin. The one seeded fruit of monocots is called as caryopsis. The seed is covered by a yellowish bract and bracteoles commonly known as chaff. The embryo consists of single cotyledon called scutellum and a shoot axis. The lower part of the axis is the radical covered by a sheath called coleorrhiza. The upper part of the axis is known as plumule which is covered by a sheath called coleoptile. When a paddy seed is placed in a moist soil The coleorrhiza pierces the base of the seed making way for the radical that comes out after splitting. The fruits and seeds of plants have evolved various devices by which they can be distributed far and wide through various agencies. If all the seeds fall directly below the parent plant, the seedlings would have to compete for space, water, 
oxygen, minerals and sunlight, leading to competition. When the seedlings are grouped together at one place, they could easily be destroyed by grazing animals. Such a situation would be determinantal to the species. Seed dispersal mechanism may eliminate the unhealthy competitive struggle that would arise from overcrowding. It also ensures the successful spreading and establishment of a species on the earth. Pattern of seed dispersal are determined in large part by the dispersal mechanism. There are a number of modes or ways by which seeds may be dispersed. They include wind, water, animal and mechanical or self-dispersal. Various types of mechanisms of dispersal of fruits and seeds are autocory, animocory, hydrocory and zoocory. Autocory is the mechanical dispersal or self-dispersal of fruits and seeds. It occurs by the dehiscence of fruit or seed. When the fruits burst with sudden jerks, the seeds are scattered far from the parent plant. For example, fruits of balsam and castor burst with a sudden jerk and disperse the seeds by an explosive mechanism. Animocory is the process of seed dispersal by means of the wind. Very lightweight seeds are easily blown away by the wind. Some seeds are enclosed in wing-like husks with one or two propeller blades or fluffy coverings that help them drift the seeds some distance away from the parent plant. Example, Calliopris, which is called as Erucum in Tamil and Moringa, commonly known as drumsticks. Fruits of Tridax also disperse by wind with the help of the hair like persistent calyx known as papers that act like a parachute in the dispersal mechanism. Dispersal of fruits and seeds by water is called hydrocory. It usually occurs in those plants which grow in water or near water bodies. Seeds from these plants develop floating devices in the form of spongy or fibrous outer coats. For example, fruits of coconut have large fibrous mesocarp which helps them to float long distances in the sea without any injury. Lotus has spongy thalamus with fruitless embedded in it. Dispersal of fruits and seeds by animal is known as zoocory. Seeds can develop structures like bristles, hooks or barbs that allow them to get tangled in an animal's feather or fur and can be carried to new locations. For example, fruits of xanthium have sharp stiff hooks. Acranthus have bracts and perianth that are pointed. Many birds and mammals eat the seeds along with the edible portion of the fruit and later pass out through excreta. Example, tomato, gova and neem. In this topic, you have learnt Seed is a ripened ovule. Seed with two cotyledons are called as dicots and seeds with only one cotyledon are called as monocots. Seed dispersal is the mechanism adopted by plants in which the fruits and seeds can be distributed far and wide through various agencies. Autocory, animocory, zoocory and hydrocory are the various types of dispersal mechanisms of fruits and seeds in plants.